On this morning's Health Watch, little white lies that turn out to be not so little. A new online survey reports nearly half of all patients admit they don't always tell the truth of their physician. Here with the most common lies that women tell their doctors is our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Why do people lie? I think a couple of reasons, out of fear, out of embarrassment, after a, uh, over a concern that they're going to be judged by their physician. Mm -hmm. But I tell my patients every day, I'm not your priest, rabbi, and I'm not the police. So when I ask a question, I'm not making a social judgment. Mm. I just want to be the best doctor. And one of the biggest lies that uh, women lie about, the first big lie, birth control and sexual partners. Right. Safe sex or lack thereof is a big one that women tell their doctors. Mm. And the risk here is that you might not get the appropriate STD screening or treatment mm -hmm. or risk for unintended pregnancy. It's so that's dumb. A big it's one. dumb to lie. Wouldn't you say? Correct. I right. would say it's not a good idea. Not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the measured physician response is it's not a good idea. It's not dumb. Okay. Drinking and smoking. Women lie about that too. Right. Again, they, they couch this under this is recreational use. Again, the risk here is that you could the doctor could miss picking up a dependence or addiction mm -hmm. problem and also miss screening for certain types of cancers that are behaviorally related, lung cancer, <sighs> liver cancer. Jeez. And also people uh, lie, women specifically lie regarding symptoms, especially how long they've had them. Right. So the, the worry here for a physician is seeing a growth that may be cancerous. And we ask the patient, how long have you had this? Last week. Right. It definitely didn't appear that way in a week. So if patients are in denial, they let things go a long time. Can you tell? Can you tell when somebody's lying to you? Sometimes I think I can, Harry. The fear is that I can't tell. And again, mm -hmm. in order to be the best doctor, the patient needs to be truthful, but the doctor has to be open to hearing that truth. It's a partnership, so yeah. it's a two-way street. It really is ends up being about being able to give your physician all of the information. Right, and as people have less and less time with a physician, in five minutes they don't have the relationship they used to, right. and that doctor-patient relationship is suffering, and this is what we're seeing as a result. There you go, Dr. Ashton. As always, thank you so much.